So if you have a balloon, one day, this is the fresh one. The next day, it's going to be smaller and not float as much, right? Now, on the first day, it was full helium. On the next day, it's going to still have a lot of helium, but it's going to have some air in there. Now, uh, the pressure is equalized on each side of the, I mean, I guess the, there's a little bit more pressure inside because the, so the gas pressures aren't totally equal, but they're, that's not as important. What's important is that helium is really small compared to other molecules of air, and it moves a lot quicker because temperature is the average kinetic energy of a particle. Since helium is so light, it's moving really fast and it's really small, which means that compared to, let's say this is our balloon wall, helium is going to be able to get through there a lot easier than air will. Which means that if there's all helium on the inside and all air on the outside, the net movement is going to be that more helium comes out than air goes in. Now, some air will go in. That's why I wrote this here. But uh, the reason it deflates is because the helium is going out faster than the air can come in. And that's because helium is able to move through. Um, 